Hey folks, how you guys doing? Jimmy Roberts here, your local real estate professional. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of taking advice from the right people. Also, as a subset of that, I want to make sure that you, I'm going to give you some tools to help you identify who are the right people to take advice from. Okay, so let me jump right into it. Um, a couple of months ago, I was at an event with uh, my daughter and my rest of my family. Uh, it was a big time for my, my daughter. And when I was there, uh, I happened to run across one of my friends that uh, I've known for years, known him for years. Uh, we've talked and, you know, and, and chatted and texted and all that other stuff, but I hadn't seen him in about a year, year and a half. Long story short, last time I saw him, bit of a dad bod. Uh, you know, take that for however you, you mean it, but he was a little rounder than I was used to seeing him when we were younger, okay? Long, this time, however, when I saw him, according to him, he was in the best shape of his life, and let me tell you, he absolutely looked it. He looked great, he really did. Matter of fact, not only did he look great, his sons looked great, and his wife looked great, all of them. They all look great. I said, man, I don't, what are you doing? I don't know what you've been doing, but you gotta tell me. And he did. He told me that he'd been working out regular he's been doing this other thing and he decided to he's been a, a follower of Andy Fazeris a uh, 75 hour program he told me all of that and I said wow that is absolutely amazing I loved his results and he got me on the path so uh so so there you go I decided to take his advice and I put myself on a similar program I'm preparing to do the 75 hour program I'm not doing it yet I, I will start mine, my first one, uh, on January 3rd. If you'd like to join me, please do. Drop something in the link and we can hook up later on or in the uh, comments below and we can hook up later on. That said, that's not why I'm here. There are a couple of things I need you to understand about that situation, right? Why did I decide to take my friend's advice? One, he had results. He had proven that he can provide, get the results that I have not been able to get for myself. Cause that's true. I've been, you know, for the last couple of years, I've been trying to get rid of the, get rid of the little belly area, but I've just not been able to do it. He has, two. Uh, so he has demonstrated results. Two. I wanted those results. Yeah, that's it. Three. He was willing to tell me. There you go. Those are the three things, right? One. He had a demonstrated uh, results that I wanted. Two, the results that he, that I wanted, he had. Three, he was willing to share. Okay, so those are the three things that you need whenever you're asking somebody from anything. Because here's why I point that out. Because it is very common for people to go to people and say, hey, can you help me with this? And they st the person that they're asking starts the conversation with, man, you know what? I don't know, but. Well, they've already told you they don't know what they're talking about. And then they're going to tell you something else and you're going to go and follow what they already told you they don't know. That happens so often, it it's, should be cliche. Well, that stops today. Now, how does this relate to real estate? Well, the same thing happens in real estate. Recently, I was offered an assignment to uh, appraise a property, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollar property. This was a big deal for the people that were asking me to do the assignment for both the lender, the borrower, the tenants, and everybody else associated with it. This is not something you want to screw up, right? But here's the thing. This particular assignment, I not really had any experience with it. Not at all. Matter of fact, I was completely confused by the whole thing. So what I ended up doing after doing, after doing some quick research and saying, wait a minute, this is not really what I thought it was. I don't have the experience of doing that. I actually said those words. I said, hey, Mr. Borrower, Mr. Lender, here's the deal. Thank you for the opportunity, but I just don't have the expertise for this one. Um, I know it's a big deal for you guys, and I really don't want to screw it up for you, for either of you. So you need to find somebody else for this one. Now, here's the thing. Big fee, big appraisal fee. But it was more important that I did was right for my clients, right? and the people involved because they came to me because they see me as a professional. So it's up to me as a professional to understand what my limitations are. In this particular case, it was this assignment. It, it required some expertise that I just did not have. Uh, and, and that's perfectly fine. 
Because the things that I'm really, really good at, I'm really, really good at. The things that I'm not so good at, we gotta find somebody else to do them, right? And that's okay. As, as a consumer, or even as a professional yourself, understand what you're good at, understand what you're looking for, and understand what you're not good at, and what you can't, what you're not looking for. Once you identify those things, find, seek people out to give you information that's gonna actually be helpful to you and that you can actually count on, all right? So that's the, the gist of, of what I have to say today, all right? Go to professional, rely on professionals that are willing to help you in the areas that they're, they're really great at and know and are okay with saying, I'm really great at this area, but this one over here, eh, not so much. Maybe we can find somebody else for you. I mean, after all, if you have a if you have a foot issue, you're not gonna go to a dentist. That's just the way it is, right? No harm, no foul. Okay, here's the deal. If you are interested in joining me on January 3rd, uh, to, as I start the 75 Heart Process, um, I'm gonna drop a link in, in the uh, bottom for Andy Frasera's website. It's, com it's a, a mental challenge as he builds it. And it looks, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna say that it's not difficult, but it is simple, but it is probably gonna be a lot more difficult than I think it is. But if you're willing to join me on this journey, hit me up in the comments and we can maybe we can hook up. Alrighty, with that, I'm gonna let you go and catch you later.